This is chicken rasala. It's a famous dish from Eastern India. And if you're a butter chicken lover, you'll love chicken rasala even more. So let's get started. Start with marinating your chicken. This is about 1 kg of chicken. And to this, I'll add 1 cup of plain yogurt, 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, 1 teaspoon of salt, and half teaspoon of white pepper. I'm also taking 4 green and 3 bird eye chilies and making a paste. You can also crush them in a pestle and mortar and add it to the marinade. Now mix and set it aside for 1 hour or whenever you're ready to cook. Meanwhile, I'll also take 2 red onions and make a paste of it. Heat half cup of oil in a cooking pot. Then add half teaspoon of cumin seeds, 4 bay leaves, 4 dried red chilies, 2 black cardamoms, 5 green cardamoms, 5 to 6 cloves and now saute the whole spices for 15 to 30 seconds in low heat or until they are fragrant. Now add half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Saute for 10 to 15 seconds then add the onion paste. And now we'll let the onions cook in medium heat until they are slightly golden about 5 to 8 minutes and keep stirring in between. So while that's happening, we'll make a paste of cashew and poppy seeds. You can get poppy seeds in any Indian grocery store. So here I've taken 1 4th cup of poppy seeds in a dry pan and I'm gonna roast them until they turn 2 shades darker than their original color. Once they're roasted, add it to your blending jar, then add 20 to 20 pieces of cashew, some water and now make a paste. Our onions are cooked, so now it's time to add the chicken. Mix nicely. Now add 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, half tablespoon of white pepper, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, 1 tablespoon of garam masala powder. The quantity of garam masala powder here depends on whether it's homemade or store bought. I noticed homemade garam masala powder have a much more concentrated flavor so in that case 1 teaspoon is enough. Mix everything then cover and cook in low heat for 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes now and our rizala is looking and smelling amazing. So now we're gonna add our poppy seeds and cashew paste. This paste is the heart of chicken rizala so don't skip this part. This is what is gonna give our chicken rizala that rich and creamy flavor. Add 1 teaspoon of sugar, add 1 teaspoon of kera water. I'm using this one and if you're using kera essence then add only a few drops. Now mix everything together and I would like to mention that the role of sugar here is to balance all the flavor without turning the rizala sweet. Now cover and cook in low heat for 5 to 8 minutes. Overall it only took me a little over than 30 minutes to cook and it always makes me wonder how can such delicious and rich food be ready in such a short time. You can have chicken rizala with any kind of naan or roti or even bread. I'm having mine with kamiri roti. It's the perfect combination and it is super easy to make. If you want this kamiri roti recipe, comment below. And if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up and share. I've also posted other amazing recipes so be sure to check those out subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss my new uploads and i'll see you in the next one